um, now holds you. Uh, so when this time when we release uh, our story, we wanted to also have another song to go with it, like a like a pair, you know, like pairing the song, almost like a wedding song, like a love song, you know, like a song oh. about 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 a lifetime of of devotion. <laughs> I just wrote something, you know, one night, you know, just sort of thinking, like, you know, the song is is about just being there for someone, you know, uh, oh. no matter how tough times get or how you know if they've had a really bad day they feel like um, everything is you know gone wrong mm -hmm. uh, but, but you don't judge them and or try not to and just be there for them and and so oh. it's that that kind of song you know just a comforting song <clears throat> so that's the song hold you Okay, so 98.6 Old Fun FM, your inspiration. Hi, Elvan, I'm back. Nisha Vira, back. And yeah, I'm going to give you a pleasure time because tonight and now I'm going to have a chit chat with one of Australian singers that are very talented. So please welcome Drew Chen. Hi. Hello. Hey. Hello. Hi, Drew. How are you? I'm very good, thanks. How are you, Anissa? I'm really good. I'm really good. Thank you for asking. By the way, thank you so much for joining this interview tonight. I'm so honored to know that I can talk with you. So, how's life, Drew? Is it okay now? In are yeah. you in Singapore? I, I am. I am in Singapore. It's been a really busy day. Um, and uh, but we're really happy to be able to you know come on the show and uh, to be able to talk about you know the mu new music that we've put out. And um, yeah, yeah. And yeah, exactly. it's, it's, it's good to hear it from you. So before we go deeper, talking about your single, um, I want to know about you. So let's have a, a game, a simple game. So sure. Drew, can you tell, tell us about yourself in three words? Drew is one, two, three. <laughs> wow. <laughs> um, uh... Soulful. <laughs> All right. I, I I am uh shy, and uh, I am competitive. <laughs> oh, you are yeah. soulful, shy, but also competitive. Oh, that's so unique. All right. <laughs> so hmm. yeah, and, that's good. And that's you? Good. What about you? Oh my God. <laughs> <laughs> I yeah, you know. I am, oh, it's hard to describe myself in just three words. Yeah, I'm, I'm also a shy, a shy person, an extrovert maybe, an introvert inside, maybe. Yeah. Oh, okay, yeah. okay, got it. I cannot describe myself. So yeah, and as long as I know you are um, singing to your, your, your own music and also your projects, you produce it by yourself too, so can you tell us about how big your passion in music, Drew? Yes, definitely. Um, wow. So one of the earliest memories that I have when I was a small, small, tiny little boy um, mm -hmm. was uh, in Malaysia, actually, um, because my, my mom is from uh, Kuala Lumpur. So um, mm -hmm. when, when I was three years old, uh, I remember my uncle was uh, carrying me on his shoulders. He was carrying me. <laughs> And um, right. and he he took me to um, all of the like his friends had uh, you know like a medicine shop, <laughs> and so my uncle would take me there and then he would tell me to sing for all the uncles and aunties and um, yeah so that's you know I think my journey in music started you know when I was like small small little boy um, and yeah. <laughs> Yeah, so um, from from there, I just fell in love, you know, with with the mm -hmm. music. It is made me feel. Um, it helped me, you know, uh, with my shyness. Uh, helped me mm -hmm. become more confident. So yeah. Wow, did you still remember the first song that you make? Understand that? Oh, I love music. Uh, wow, I think it was even. I was probably too young to understand, um, you know, yeah. the lyrics. And the mm -hmm. words um, but I just remember uh, that it made me feel um, you know uh, comfortable with myself and when I was playing the music 
you know mm -hmm. uh it's just something that helped me you know cope um and i i guess i sort of have that with me till today yeah mm -hmm. so it, it helps yeah all right mm -hmm. anyway drew congratulations you already releasing your newest ep our story yes and yeah we know that in that ep you have four songs and there is a our story hold you evil tower and also replay am i right yes correct and yeah so before we break down each of your song can you tell us why you decide to releasing your EP in this pandemic situation, you know, in this kind of era? Yep, yep, yep. That's a really, really good question. I think, um, you know, from you were saying that uh, for yourself, you can be shy, but you're like extrovert on the outside, but you're also ah. introvert. So for for us, I think for me um, and a few of my friends, um, mm -hmm. you know, we can be like introverted. So uh bef even before the pandemic you know we were already isolated <laughs> because we were um you know working on music writing songs mm -hmm. by ourselves at home you know um so it's just a natural thing for me um and and so at, during this time we have a, a really good team of friends all of us working together um including gentle bones uh so he he helped help me with um like writing and and working together with me and um of course even in this call we have shasha who is you know creative directing a lot of what mm -hmm. we're doing in terms of the music video direction um and the the visuals and things like that um we have uh you know our management team and all of us are working together so i think right now it's just a chance um, i'm just so lucky and and blessed that they can use my song to also express themselves and do what they want to do the whole team so it's like a you know it's like a team effort so, yeah wow, so, wow i don't know if that answers your question but we all wanted <laughs> to do something and it doesn't matter when the time is we're still going to mm -hmm. do it anyway so yeah anyway you have a great time behind you right yeah 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 and that's cool so you have a great a, a teamwork with your team but did you find any difficulties when you are working on your music, especially in this EP? Yeah, <laughs> that's a very good question. I think, um, you know, in Singapore, uh, we have a, a culture of um, uh, a workaholic, you know what that means? All right. like, you know, don't stop working. Um, and uh, it can be in the day job or it can be in, you know, in music industry or whatever. Um, the culture is that, you know, we just work really, really hard. And um, it can be a good thing because, uh, you know, you get a lot of things done. You get so many projects and they will happen, um, you know, uh, whereas in maybe in a place like Australia, it, it takes a lot longer to get it done. Um, and I think the challenge for me, you know, is, is just to uh, make sure that I, I can actually come up with, you know, the stuff, uh, the work and, and also, um, you know, be able to balance it. And um, yeah, I think this is I can probably speak for the whole country as well, you know, Singapore. Um, yeah, you know, so that yeah. could be a challenge for everyone here. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Wow. And yeah, you you already mentioned Jello Bones, aka Jolta. Oh, yeah. I, I'm yeah. surprised because you know, a moment ago, I, I have a I have a good time too because I'm already interviewing, have a chat chat with him also. Cool. Cool. Yes when he collaborating with Gamaliel, right? Okay. And so, talking about Gentle Bones, how it started? How how can you collaborating with Gentle Bones? Okay, um, so we have uh, met up before a few times <laughs> over the years, maybe five, six years ago. Um, mm. There was a time when I was, uh, when I was actually, I was teaching music inside of a, like a music studio and uh, mm. And his and Joel's collaborator uh, Josh was working there as well, and so I would always bump into uh, Joel and I would see him like, "Hey, you guys are working on General Moon's music. That's really cool, you know." Um, but then many many years after, um, you know, one day uh, mm -hmm. we just started talking on Instagram, and that's when we decided, "Hey, you know, like this might be really fun um, to work together." And uh, yeah, and and he wanted to try out some music with me as well, so. Yeah, it's just been very, uh, very easy. Yeah. 
Yeah, and you produce a song that so easy listening, super bright, yeah. and especially in the we're gonna talking about Evil Tower. I think it's a very romantic because you know I'm a hopeless romantic person, <laughs> yeah. and it's so heartwarming. So can you tell us about what what is Evil Tower? Okay, um, that's a really really good question. I'm glad you asked. Uh, I'm I'm just like you. I'm also you know I definitely go with my heart. So um, you know, uh, for me that song is about um, vulnerability. You know, it's about uh, sometimes uh, you know in order to truly um, be connected with someone, you have to take a chance. You have to take okay. a risk, right? And, yes. and you never know if you're gonna fail. Um, mm -hmm. You don't know, but you, but then again, you also don't know unless you try. So for me, I was writing the song from a place of, um, you know, the Eiffel Tower is so tall. It's uh, yeah. the, the monument in in France, right? Um, and um, but I'm actually uh, scared of heights. <laughs> like, okay. I'm afraid of heights. I hate looking down from a high place so so the the lyric you know um, it's all because of your love it's got me higher than the eiffel tower but i don't, like high could be a good thing but it also could be like extremely frightening for me so it's just from that place of you know vulnerability and um sometimes you have to take a chance and you don't know you know what's going to happen but you still try yeah in love <laughs> yeah, yeah yeah you'll never know what will happen unless you try isn't it right yeah yeah nothing yeah. nothing ventured nothing gained yeah yeah so another track on your ep is um hold you and also replay mm. Mm. can you tell us about this two track hold okay. you and replay what is all about okay so uh replay is a song that mm -hmm. um the the birth of the song came from uh one of my best friends okay, okay. um he he is right now he's living in australia Mm -hmm. um, he's a Canadian Australian uh, guy. Uh, he's called Jesse Jesse Bear, and he's one of my best friends. He's one of the most talented, you know, musicians, producers, songwriter that I ever know. And um, so he had a song called Replay, right? And um, he played. He showed me, you know, um, maybe seven years ago, a long time ago. Mm -hmm. I heard it, and I was like, Oh my goodness, this is incredible. Um, mm -hmm. And I was always pestering him about it. And I was like, hey, man, hey, bro, you know, um, what happened to the song? You know, um, are you ever going to release it? Or, you know, like, hey, remember that song we play? And then every year I would ask him. And then finally, I think he he probably got annoyed or I, I just like I was like, you know what? I'm just going to try and, and hmm. do something with it. So took the song and I tried and produce it. And then Joel came on board and um, helped like write some new sections and make it, mm -hmm. you know, more um, like just interesting and more modern. And so we we play with it until we finally all, all three of us are happy with it. Um, and then that's the song Replay. And it's, it's really about um, nostalgia, you know, like go back to the 1990s. Like I'm from the 90s. So all um, right, me too. <laughs> you know, you want to think about the time when we're more innocent, you know, and, and going back to those sort of purer moments in our life and so mm -hmm. that song is about that um, now hold you uh, so when this time when we release uh, our story we wanted to also have another song to go with it like a like a pair you know like pairing the song two songs together so I had a song as like um, almost like a wedding song like a love song you know like a song oh. about 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 a lifetime of, of mm -hmm. devotion I just wrote something, you know, one night. I was, um, you know, just sort of thinking, like, oh, if if I had, um, if I had a wedding, what what would I say? You know, what what do I want to say? And so, you know, I, I said those kind of words in in the song. Um, uh, and you know, the song is is about just being there for someone. You know, uh, oh yeah. N no matter how tough the times get, or how you know, if they've mm -hmm. had a really bad day, they feel like um everything is you know gone wrong mm -hmm. um, but but you don't judge them and or try not to and just be there for them and and oh. so it's that that kind of song you know just a comforting song 
<clears throat> so that's the song, Hold You. Yeah. And um, so, I just put it together. Yeah. So touching. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah, I just, I just kind of write from here, from the heart. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I think it came from the deepest of your heart. Yeah. And I try. <laughs> yes. So another track on your EP is like your 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 EP, um, yeah, our story. Yeah. Uh -huh, what uh -huh. what what it means to you? What this song means to you? That that one is um wow. Okay, that one come from more of a dark place even though the music very bright mm -hmm. the the seed of the song you know at the very beginning of it when i when it came it's more from a place of like um you know i'm feeling um really really down and some you know like um anxious anxiety you know and 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 i'm just down in the dumps and i'm i'm feeling how do i get out of this you know and so um you know, I started writing those words. Strung out on my own, all I know, it gets hard to show. You know, like you, you feel so, so um, conflicted, but you don't want to show anyone because you have to maintain a brave face. You know, you have to be happy and smiley. So it start from that place. And I guess I just want to be honest with it, you know. And sometimes when you're in that, when I'm in that place, um, you know, it's not so fun to be around. <laughs> Let's just put it that way, you know, and 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 I just hope that, you know, I hope that people, my my loved ones, you know, they don't mind that sometimes mm -hmm. you know, I'm like that. So uh, I think it come from that place and uh, hopefully, you know, people can relate to it, you know, and, and, and ah. just, yeah, you know, I just try and write, write <laughs> honestly. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, and I believe that a lot of people will relate with all of your song especially in this ep yeah so and so. from all of your track in this ep if you mm -hmm. have to choose one which song is your favorite choose one <laughs> and uh, why okay um ooh, that's such a tough question because every song is a different style and i love every different style of music you mm -hmm. know? um but I'm going to go with our story because mm -hmm. it's got it's got a music video to it, and and there was a lot of fun when we filmed it. Um, we just had oh. so much fun filming it. You know, we went to the beach, we went to the forest. Mm -hmm. You know, we we uh, yeah, it, it's just really great. I I hope that everyone can, you know, check it out. Mm -hmm. um, I gotta say that our story is my favorite because of the music video. Yeah. <laughs> all right so yeah and after listening to all of your track in this ep mm. um i personally love evil tower it's like you Ooh. know relate with this kind of situations like you know you are trying to yeah you're trying your best while you're trying to trying to about something and yeah and the melody is so heartwarming Oh, thank you so much. Matter of yeah. fact, can I? I'd love to sing a little bit of that for all of your listeners. Can I do that? Yeah, yeah, you can yeah, do yeah. that. <laughs> just, just because you 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 like that song out of all of them, I think mm -hmm. hopefully the listeners will like it too. So why don't I play a little bit of it? Wow, I'm so happy. Can you hear that? Yeah, I can hear that. It's all because of your love. Got me higher than the Eiffel Tower oh. I said I told you I was afraid of them heights You said it's cause I never climbed them with you It's all because of your love It's got me higher than the Eiffel Tower oh. Pray you don't let me go Cause who's gonna catch me when I fall for you? I can count on me when it all comes crashing down Oh, natural I... It's all because of your love Thanks so much! <laughs> play a little bit for you because wow yeah. thank you so much i'm so happy <laughs> and oh. yeah you know we're already in the final 
questions. So, Drew, can you tell us about your hope or maybe the message you want to deliver to your listener through your music, especially through your EP? Okay, definitely. Um, I just want to thank everyone for listening and tuning in. Um, and, uh, you know, music for me uh, is is something that is uh, healing, you know, and mm-hmm. soothing. And uh, definitely when I when I listen to it or when I write music, you know, it that's what it does for me and it helps me. And I really hope that anyone who, um, you know, chances upon my music and, and, and gets to hear, mm-hmm. you know, the tracks, I hope that they also get that feeling that, um, you know, they feel like it's something soothing that they can listen to, especially now, you know, the world is is really, you know, going crazy, right? So mm-hmm. I just think that, right. you know, we need to hold on to as much positivity as we can. And um, yeah, hopefully my music can, you know, be a positive thing. That's all. Wow. Um, all right. So for the last and the final statement from you, Drew, can you please promote your new single? and also your new EP to our listener. We call it L Friends. L Friends. Hello, yeah. L Friends. Um, please uh, check out my latest uh, single, my latest EP, Our Story. Uh, my name is Drew Chen. You can find me on Instagram. It's D-R-U-C-H-E-N Music, at Drew Chen Music, or on TikTok, or any platform you want. Um, and uh, yeah, hope to see you there. All right, thank you. So, what is the um, username of your TikTok, Drew? Yeah, so it's at Drew Chen Music. So, D R U C H E N Music. All yeah. right, wow. So, um, do you active on your TikTok? Yeah, I try and I try and come up with some some musical treats. I like to call them. Um, yeah, and, and just do little songs, you know, little mm-hmm. medleys, little. Little things, have fun with it. Yeah. So you yeah, we, we have a lot of fun time in TikTok right nowadays. Definitely. Yeah. And so, anyway, thank you so much, Drew. Mm, thank you so me. much for um, joining this interview. Thank you so much for talking with me and also Elfren. And I hope that you're always happy in your life. <laughs> Stay healthy also, don't forget to stay healthy, yeah? You too. And I hope that I can hear a lot of your newest track, new single. Yes, <laughs> definitely. We'll, we'll definitely reach out. Thank you so much, Anissa. Stay safe, our friends. So much, yeah, thank you so much, Ru. Have a very good day ahead. And yeah, okay. have a good sleep tonight. Yes. <laughs> thank you so much, Ru. Goodbye. Okay. Bye bye. Bye. Slow down. There's no getting used to these breakdowns. We're getting old as we lay down to the same side.